Now that we have this effect and we now know how to use the actual expressions to mask the density, we are going to move back into the clump modifier. And this is going to be an extra because you can lead the noise effect into the clump modifier to be masked just as we did before. And also you can mask not only with, an with a map, but you can also mask with an expression. If you go to the clump modifier number three and mask with an expression, you can say that just the amount that you set here of here are going to be affected by the actual clump system. So even if you go here and increase the density to a value of let's say one, so we are going to have more uh, divisions of her around here, you can map them out and let's see, let's color preview them. And let's remove the color preview from the first one. And you can control the amount of mask that you use here to generate your actual clumps on the new clump system. So even if I go a value of two, generate, you can see them here. And the effect, it's going, the clumps are always going to be there, but it's going to affect less and less hair as you set the actual mask. This is going to be quite useful if you want to affect and to have a different effect, you can see here how the partition works and it's giving me a nice blend between all the details and it's much more easier to control and give me a more natural effect now that I'm using everything for uh, controlling here. You can also create the noise that we talked before and you can set the percentage here. So you can control the amount of hairs that are going to be affected with your actual noise. And you can see that just some of them are going to get the noise effect that we have here. So this is another way to control and to mask and to have just some effect on some of the clumps and not on all of them. So you can actually control the actual effect of clumping on some of the clumps. And this is going to add you another level of defineness or definition that is going to help you a lot to have this effect where you can actually see the clumps that are more or less affected. So if that effect is just too strong, you can bring back a little bit and it's going to be more subtle and you can control everything a little bit more. From that way, you can even control the copy and the cut effect of the same clump. So add it into everything, you will have the possibility to clump and to affect everything a little bit more and have the changes and the noises and even the clumping, just not affecting the parts that you want, but also affecting just the areas that you want to affect. You can even change to the magnitude expression that we see before and use it here to control the magnitude of the clumps to have more control over the same patterns and affected by a stray percentage.